Well, hello there, Angela. How are you today? I am great, Cheryl. How are you? I am spectacular. You always have a smile. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen a time where you are not the smiley, uh, jovial person I can look across the room at in a conference and see you. Speaking oh, of you. Uh, conferences and events, tell everybody what you do. Well, I am the co-founder of Event Advisors, and we specialize in event marketing implementation using events as a piece of your overall marketing plan in the FinServe space and how they can be a very important tool to retain your current clients, grow your AUM through your existing clients, develop relationships with new prospective clients, and really um, create those relationships that, that you need to. And a lot of advisors and wholesalers and those with broker dealers don't understand the full power of events. And we look to them as a full circle um, tool in your marketing toolkit. Love that. And, you know, I have to say, I get a lot of advisors who come to us at Females in Finance and they say, I want to be a speaker or I want to speak more often, or I, I want to get more out of the event. So how do you work with advisors, whether it's to hold an event and or how to present themselves at events, et cetera? Talk a little bit about that. Well, Cheryl, you really need to look, pull the curtain back um, before you jump into a, an event. And we look at what are your goals for the event is, do you want to educate your current clients? Do you want to educate clients and prospective clients? Do you want to have a client appreciation event? Do you just want to have a great party? Figure out what you want to do, who you want to target, what the personality of the event is, and then everything falls into place. You can determine um, who speaks, who shows up, what roles all the stakeholders have. They all really all those pieces will then funnel down to your goals and a big component of event planning that you want to do at the very beginning when you're goal setting is planning for your follow-up. So when you do that and plan for the follow-up at the beginning, all the pieces connect. Yeah. Working it backwards. You're so right. It's what's the end result. And I love the fact that you touched on the why of like, why do you want to hold this event in the first place? Because, and I, and I have to show some appreciation too, and some love on the fact that sometimes we just want to have a decent party. Let's be really <laughs> okay with saying, I would like to get together some of my greatest <laughs> clients and their friends and have a really good time together. And there's nothing, there's no shame in that part of the event game. And it can yeah. actually be, I heard one time another advisor say that the best learning, the best connections is when they, there's an experience involved that you're bonding yourself to someone. So I love the fact that you were probably the first person I've ever heard say, I want to have a good party. And so I really appreciate that. So it leads me, if that's their why, what is your why? Why do you do this kind of work? Gosh, so my why is I've been in the financial services space for a very long time, a couple of decades. We won't touch on the exact number, um, but a couple of decades. And I sat in the advisory firm seat as a marketing director, um, manager, event coordinator, developing those relationships. And we literally were on, say, automatic pilot, kind of doing what the broker dealer tells you to do, what your coach tells you to do, and just implementing, just very rote. Um, I want to have a Valentine's party. We Let's have a... a a summit and just executing it. And then at the end of the event, sometimes realizing, well, okay, why didn't anybody come or we didn't have the right people or um, we don't even talk about it. The, the doors close and that was it. We move on to email or the next event and nobody talks about it. And then you wonder why they're not becoming profitable or they're not. And I say profitable in a very loose, non-monetary way because an event can be profitable and have a return. Um, if you've deepened that relationship, you haven't have created the space. So a client doesn't leave you, you know, so it's, it's, there's lots of legs there. So the reason I do this is because I've realized over the years that there's so much more to events the goal setting, the follow-up, and all the strategic pieces 
to put that event together where it becomes profitable in that non-monetary sense. It, there's a return on the moment, return on the event. Return on the moment right there. That was it. That was beautiful. I am so grateful for your partnership and friendship Thank at you. Females in Finance. You guys just do amazing work, you and Elise. And I appreciate uh, being able to showcase this today. Just everything Thank about you is wonderful. Pleasure. All right. Thank take you. care.